laptops, all, all that stuff. Exactly. And so if you're picking up the phone the first thing in the morning, the challenge is a number of reasons. This is a challenge. First of all, there, there are these four primary brainwave states. Um, beta is what you and I are in right now, we're awake. Delta is when you're fast asleep. In between those two states, theta and alpha, are extremely important brainwave states for learning. So theta is the state right in and out of sleep. Theta is the state um, that we call creativity. When you are your most creative, you're, you're, usually it's coming because you're in this theta state. And you know this, when you're in and out of sleep, or you're close to like, you're so deep, your, your mind goes and you come up with ideas. You know what puts you in that theta state? Are uh, showers. Really? You ever notice like when you're in the shower, you come up with some of your, your best ideas? Yeah, and your brain kind of drifts. It does, because you're in that brainwave state. So a big part of my work is taking the invisible and making it visible. Like I always, when I do these demonstrations, I always tell people that I, I do it because I want you to see that there's a method behind the magic. That when somebody does something that's extraordinary in athletics, in education, in technology with the human body, there's always a trail, you know, because genius leaves clues. And a lot of times these geniuses, and I say genius not like IQ, I mean people who excel in their area of expertise, they don't know how they're doing it because they're unconscious about it because right? they've been doing it second nature to them since for so long. And so what I like to do is deconstruct that and then show people how to learn it more quickly. But when you're in this theta state, showers put you in that theta state. That's why I took five showers, Brian, this morning just to prepare for this conversation <laughs> well, I'm shows. having with you. Um, above theta, though, uh, is the state called alpha, right right below beta where you're, you're, you're most aware and awake. Um, alpha is a state of learning accelerated learning. It's a state of relaxed awareness. Um, this is a state we go into when we meditate because your critical mind is set aside and you just absorb information unconsciously. You know what puts you into an alpha state? Television. Mm -hmm. You ever notice that if somebody's watching the game or somebody's watching their favorite TV show and you're trying to have a conversation with them and they literally are in trance, they don't hear you because of television programming? which might be an interesting word, you know, programming and putting people into yeah. a trance. But that's the alpha state. That's where information is just going inside your mind. So we train people how to learn languages faster, learn facts better by putting them into an, an alpha state, okay. a relaxed state of awareness. And we can do that by, by design. And people don't realize this. And this is the whole thing. I really think this should have been taught back in school because school was a great place to learn what to learn. Math, history, science, Spanish, important subjects on what to learn. But how many classes were on how to learn? Does that even exist these days? No, that, that's what I'm saying. Like how many classes were on how to think critically, how to make good decisions, how to solve problems, how to focus and concentrate, how to read, how to read faster, how to remember more, right? Even they teach you three R's in school, reading, writing, arithmetic. But what about remembering? What about recall? What about retention? Right? Socrates says there is no learning without remembering. And that's really the the basis of it all, but I would say that um, knowing you're in this alpha theta state first thing in the morning, you're very suggestible, right? And if the first thing you're picking up is your phone, then that really is rewiring our brain for two things, the dangers. That's going to really decrease your level of productivity and performance. Number one is training you to be distracted, and we talked about that. Every like, share, comment, everything is just making you just pay attention to everything else. Um, and rewiring your brain so when you're having a conversation with somebody you can't even focus because you've trained your brain to do otherwise. And that's why mindfulness is so important, you know, whether it's meditation or something else. Because it's not that, I don't meditate every single day just to be at peace and, and be in a zen state. I do it because it's a mental exercise. It improves my uh, cognitive capabilities, meaning that when my mind goes somewhere else, that's the opportunity because when I pull it back with my breath or visualization, I built that muscle. Because here's, here's really the, the basis of my work is really about taking nouns and turning them into verbs.